Joe, it is I, Michael. My sincerest apologies. I am sorry. As you can see, the Beacon Point mind transmitter was quite effective. I have regained full control of my cognitive faculties and then some. Now that I am in complete control, I can finally reveal to you the terrible secret of the long-departed foster father who has taken up residence in my cranium. One Aaron Montgomery Ward. In his quest for immortality, he has constructed three Tonka Tough devices and buried them deep beneath the land he defended tooth and nail to protect in life. Deep beneath Grand Park is a mind control device similar to what he used to take up residence in my own head, but on a much larger scale. Its citywide transmitter has been cleverly disguised as the Buckingham Fountain Water Fountain. Machine the next is an underwater pump hidden in the river, which alkalizes the city's drinking water and primes the human mind for capture. It is un its underwater centrifuge is located in the river in the public park that shares my own father's name. You might know it as 7-Eleven Park, no more than four blocks south of your very own headquarters, where you are cunning enough to raise the ire of my lawyer and perpetual frenemy, Rupert J. Thorne. Finally, a doomsday device has been hidden in the foundation of the monolith that commemorates father's arch nemesis in business, Willis Montgomery Sears. The Sears Tower. The tower will be rent asunder, along with every functioning mind in the county cook, if all of these devices are not stopped forthwith. Because you did such a poor job as a single team, and because time is of the essence, we shall be divided into three teams, so that we may strike simultaneously. Team the first shall be dubbed the Red Team, and be comprised of Tog Detmond and K.D. Sherthing. Team two will be the Blue Barracudas. This team shall include everyone else. The third team will be christened the Small Soldiers, and this team consists of both myself and Harold. To disrupt these devices, I have obtained six magnetized electro coins capable of disrupting the devices when submerged in close proximity. The first three are hidden in mine own quarters, while three others are within the palatial tower of the editorial department. Red Team, it is upon you to take out Buckingham Fountain. Here is how to find the coins. One is hidden in the eyepiece of the telescope in the corner of your corporate jesters. The second resides on the southwest corner of the desk of Aaron Montgomery with... The third is hidden cleverly in the galley alongside the servers and vases. Blue Barracudas, your coins are hidden as follows. Two of them rest behind the unblinking gaze of that most noble of savages hiding in my own room. The third was entrusted, of course, to Harold, who buried it in his quarters. When you have retrieved the coins, assemble your teams on... Thursday, January the 20th at 6 p.m. sharp. Red team, take your coins to the fountain and toss them in vigilantly. Blue team, you must do the same, but in that accursed river. It is imperative that you document these acts using your video telephones and transmit the evidence to my own electronic email address. As for me, I will diffuse the doomsday device between the colony's tallest tower. When we are all victorious, each team must return to the lobby of Groupin's headquarters and wait for me there vigilantly. When you are fully assembled, text VICTORY to 708-415-3370. That's zero with a Z. I will come to finally meet you, and this whole ordeal will be over. It is imperative that you wait for my return. Do not falter! I must go now. I am hungry for food. Excelsior, my willow warriors.